Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to demonstrate how to drive a car with a Cambion Corsa uh, gearbox, which also uh, can be translated as the, uh, very similar to the Ferrari's F1 uh, transmission as well. So they're both uh, single clutch, dry clutch transmission. So you have the clutch located right under here, but you have the transaxle, the transmission on the back of the car. So they're connected with a shifting cable um, and um, obviously a torque converter for weight balancing purposes as well. Now you do not have a third paddle here, do not have a foot clutch. So instead of using your foot to depress the clutch, this car actually comes with a hydraulic pump that will draw the power from the battery on the alternator to shift and push the gear into places. So without further ado, um, just gonna warm up the car a little bit and we are going to demonstrate how to drive in different mode, um, you know, especially right here inside the city. Okay, so right now the car is in neutral. So whenever you start the car, as you can see, I did pull the both paddle back to shift the car back to neutral um, because you cannot start the car with the first gear and the car does not have a parking gear either. So you want the car to be in neutral before you start up the car. And always have the handbrake on if you are not moving. And when we are ready to drive the car right now, so we're gonna have a foot on the brake, release, the emergency brake and tap one time to go to the first gear just gonna lower the window get some airflow and now we're ready to go but the car does not move if you don't give gas so you have to give gas to tell the car to engage the clutch okay now we are in automatic mode which means I don't really have to do anything just because it has an auto program to shift the gear for you doesn't mean the transmission is automatic. And as you can see, a low speed is just struggling to engage the clutch, which is completely normal. That's why I do not like to drive around parking lot because the car is just keep engaging, disengaging the clutch. Now we are driving in regular mode. So here we go. 4,000 RPM, first gear, now we're in second, and we hit a traffic light. So as you can see, the gear shift is pretty slow in standard mode, and I can just click here to turn off the automatic mode, and now we can shift with the paddles here. Now, we are still in regular mode, so you will see in the next few seconds how the gear shift is like it's pretty slow but I mean unless you engage sport mode or you're at a higher RPM uh, because the throttle input controls the clutch engagement so if you give it a little bit gas not too much you know the clutch engagement is going to be slow as well okay so we're almost green light right now okay here we go Now you do not have to downshift because the car will downshift for you to prevent the engine from stalling. And now we're in first gear, as I slow down, it downshift for me. Now next I'm going to demonstrate with the sport mode. I'm going to engage the sport mode. Here we go. Feel that? gear shifting so much faster, much stronger, that it backs the clutch much better than it's supposed to be. So, it also downshift much faster. Oh, well, as you can actually hear it. Okay, now if I turn off the sport mode, 
just put it back to automatic mode. Now the car will shift for you just like any other cars. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty much about it. When you are sitting on the tractor like right here, um, you can always shift back to neutral. If the light is a little bit longer than expected, or you can just sit on the force because at least for the camping Corsa, there's no final answer from Maserati saying whether or not you should be, you know, sitting on first gear or should you switch to neutral. But according to Maserati, if you are going to, you know, sit on the first gear for longer than 10 minutes, the car is going to jump back to neutral. Okay, as you can see, I don't have to shift myself. It shifts automatically and, you know, it's pretty good if you need to take a phone call, you know, you need to drink your coffee or you just don't feel like you want to, you know, shift today. That's fine. The automatic program will take care for you. not recommended to use the automatic mode all the time because uh, it kind of shifts at certain all the, all the, always the same RPM and you know shift points so that put more wear on the clutch but you know like traffic like this you know if it's a little bit stressful for you then you don't have to shift for yourself So we're actually going to pull into a parking lot. Okay, we're just gonna park right around here. Now when you come to a stop, here's what you want it to do. Now, unless you're parking on the leveled ground, I always park with first gear because I don't want the car start to rolling, you know, by itself or accident, accidentally. Anyway, um, so here's what I'm going to do. Um, you can shift the car back to neutral with the emergency brake on and shut off the car. Now, because the ground is not leveled, what I do is I always put in first and shut off the car. But that's that is the safest way to make sure that uh, you know the car won't be rolling around yeah anyway I hope you enjoyed this video um, yeah and let me know if you have any questions or concerns but anyway I am actually going to drive it off so hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time